karibu sana uh, mimi naitwa Smarty wapo kwanza nafungua redio yako na ndani ya studio leo ikiwa ni siku ya Wednesday kama unavyojua rafiki ni siku ya women ni wakati wa wanawake na ka, wakati kama huu tunaangazia tu masuala ya wanawake na ndani ya studio siko peke yangu niko na wageni ambao tutakuwa tunazungumza zaidi kuhusiana na uh, jukumu la mwanamke hasa hasa katika masuala ya amani na masuala ya usalama watakuwa wanajitambulisha uh, kisha tutakuwa tunaweza kusonga mbele to ladies first asante sana uh, kwa majina naitwa Halima Muhammad ni mkurugenzi mkuu wa shirika la Coast Education Center karibu asante. sana Halima asante uh, kwa majina ni Nyagaka Penwell na mimi ni programs manager katika mm-hmm. ile shirika la Coast Education Center ambalo nafanya kazi katika hii pwani yetu ya Kenya. Okay. Karibuni sana ndani ya studio. Asante. Na ni nafurahi ya kwamba tuko na masuala ambayo tunayazungumzia ya kimwangazia huyu mwanamke. Lakini katika mazungumzo yetu haya lazima ku, tutaweza kuzungumza kuhusiana na ile ripoti uh, ambayo mliweza kuifanya utafiti ule na pengine tuanzie pale ripoti yenyewe ni inazungumzia kuhusiana na nini na mliweza ku mliweza kupata nini kutoka kule nyanjani kuhusiana na wanawake na amani salama asante sana um, kwanza kabisa ni kutoa shukrani kwa sababu haingewezekana kufanya ripoti hii isipokuwa kwa kujiunga ku, kuungana mm-hmm. mkono pamoja na county assembly mm-hmm. county government mm-hmm. ya Kilifi county okay. ripoti hii inaitwa Kilifi county local action plan 1325 mm-hmm. ambayo hususan inaangazia masala ya wamama usalama amani na usalama mm-hmm. na ripoti hii inatokamana na ile national action plan ya okay. 1325 ambayo okay. serikali ime launch second edition okay. hususan kuangazia mambo ya <coughs> usishaji wa kina mama mm-hmm. katika nyanjani mm-hmm. masala ya amani na usalama mm-hmm. sasa tukaona ya kuwa kwa sababu national government ime launch mm-hmm. na je sisi uhusishaji wetu kama kina mama hapa Kilifi uko vipi mm-hmm. Kilifi ni kubwa iko na seven sub counties na ikiwa tunataka kumshirikishi mama ambaye yuko rabai mm-hmm. je atahusikana vipi na, na mipango ya county na mipango ya national government ikija masala ya usalama mm-hmm. ndio tukaangazia e, ya kuwa tumuhusishe huyu mama wa amani mm-hmm ili apate kuchangia katika kutengeneza ile action plan ya Kilifi County. Okay. Na leo hii tume launch report hiyo last year December mm. tukiwa na governor wetu hapa Kilifi mm. ili kuangalia mambo yaliyoko ndani tunaangalia changamoto zilizoko. Okay. Tukiangalia report iliyotolewa mwaka wa 2022 mm. ambapo ni katika mwaka wa January na February. Yes. Ikiangazia cases za sexual gender based violence mm-hmm. kwa karibu mia mbili mm. Kwa sababu hiyo ni kwa miezi miwili. Yes. Katika mwaka wa 2022. Mm-hmm. Leo hii ni kuwa ikiwa kesi ziko juu yule okay. mwenye kuhusika zaidi ni nani ni mm-hmm. mama mm-hmm. kesi inapotokea mama ndio yatafuta mm-hmm. leo hii chifu akiletea kesi pale ya mwanamke hamtafuti baba ama mzee wa mtaa mm-hmm. amtafuta mama kwa sababu mama ni mpenda amani okay. mama mpenda maendeleo right. tukiangalia kesi hizi pia tunaangazia pia vipi yule mama kwa yule ushauri wake anaotoa mm-hmm. tunaangalia mambo historical injustices mm-hmm. vipi masala ya kihistoria zinachangia kutoleta amani katika kilifi yetu okay. vipi mambo ya violent extremism pia ilichangia ya mama kudhoofika katika afya yake. Mm-hmm. Vipi huyu mama anaweza kuwa katika kipao cha mbele? Ndio pale tukaunga uh, the action plan iweze kusaidia mama wa amani mm-hmm. katika Kilifi County. Alright, uh, pengine nimlete bwana Panuel <coughs> kuweza kuchangia mjadala huu. Uh, we ukiwa mwanamme na ukiwa umehusishwa katika swala hili la wamama. Uh, I want to pengine tu pate mawazo yako je unadhani ya kwamba uh, kuhusishwa kikamilifu kwa huyu mama Uh, katika masala ya amani na usalama uh, pengine mama amehusika kikamilifu ama bado hajajihusisha kikamilifu katika jambo hili zima ama ni ile dhana ya kwamba wan, ni jambo la wanaume <laughs> <laughs> asante sana Aku, kulingana na vile mwanzangu alivyozungumza ni kweli kabisa yes. na tuko katika hizi juhudi katika hizi harakati kwa sababu sisi wakati vile umefika saa hizi yes. ni kweli mwa mama mm-hmm. na wanawake bado haja usishwe kikamilifu okay. niko hivi hata mimi kama mwanaume ambaye niko hapa yes. niko hapa ku make sure kwamba hili jambo limetekelezwa mm-hmm. na pia limeweza kufaulu okay. kwa sababu gani unapata kwama vile mwanzangu alivyozungumza ni kwamba wakina mama na wanawake mm-hmm. ni watu ambao wanachukua wanabeba majukumu mengi na makubwa katika jamii Mm-hmm. na siku zote watu nasema ukimulisha mama imemulisha 
Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. sasa ndio ile kwa maana lakini hizi changamoto wanazozipitia kwa hivi sasa mm-hmm. ni nyingi ndio kwa maana sisi kama shirika tulijitolea na tukakuja tukabuni hii hii mpangilio ambao amemsikiza yes. kama inaitwa kilifi local action plan, plan. Mm-hmm. na kumbuka hii kilifi action plan ni kwa sababu ya vile Kenya tulipo uh, tulipo tulipo kuondoa ama tulipo establish ile the Kenya National Action Plan yes. ambao pia hiyo ilitoka katika katika ule ufumo wa UNHCR okay. wa 1325 Lakini swali langu pengine ni uh, wamama wamehusika kikamilifu ama bado kutokana na zile dhana za pale zamani hakuja kuwa na ile kuweza kujitokeza kikamilifu Yes Gavile uh, Vwanza lilisema kwamba kwa hivi sasa siwezi sema hata wamehusika uh, kikamilifu okay. kwa sababu hivi saa hizi tuko katika ile harakati ya kumekshwa kwamba <laughs> wanawake na kina mama wamehusika kikamilifu okay. kwa sababu kiangalia kwa hivi sasa kwa ile katika ile meza ya kutoa uamuzi <laughs> hatuwezi sema wamehusishwa kikamilifu Kitu gani changamoto zipi ambazo zina Changamoto ni nyingi kwa sababu unapata saa hizi hata ukiangalia mambo mengi yanayofanyika katika jamii hayajawafikia haya katika malengo yetu. Mm-hmm. Moja ni kwamba unapata saa hizi hata katika ala masuala ya ardhi kama vile mwanzo alivyozungumza ni kwamba saa hizi bado tunajua ardhi bado ina ina belong kwa mm-hmm. mwanaume. Saa hizi ukiangalia kama ni yule kuandika mambo na will na mambo mengine kwa muzi mambo mm-hmm. ni mwanaume. Hata hivi saa hizi tunashukuru kaunti yetu tulipata governor mpya lakini bado ni mwanaume. Mm-hmm. Na he na ukiangalia sasa masuala kama hata katika jamii ambazo tunazoka yes pale tunaoka mm-hmm. wengi wao wale ambao viongozi wanatuongoza sasa wengi wao pia ni wanaume mm-hmm. yeah. sasa ndio yeah. ukipata sasa tukifikiria wakati wa kuamua mm. ama kuhusisha ina kwa vigumu yes na mambo mengi alafu pia unapata zile changamoto tumesikia katika hii kaunti ya Kilifi mm-hmm. ambazo zinawapata kila mama na wanawake mm-hmm. nyingi zao zimesababishwa ama zime, zimetokana kwa sababu sisi wanaume huwa tunawaganda Yeah. Mm-hmm. hata kulingana hata hiki hili janga ambalo litupata juzi la shakaola mm-hmm. wengi waliotolewa wali kule ni wanawake mm-hmm. na hilo ni wengi mm-hmm. nafakumi hizo swali ni kwa sababu mm-hmm. gani mm-hmm. Yeah. ama ni kwa sababu wanawake ndio wana shida so ndio tuko hapa kumeshwa kwamba hii sera ama hii mpangilio ambao tumeweka mm-hmm. imehusisha na imemekshwa kwamba wanawake wame usika kikamilifu. Okay. So uh, mpengine Halima utoeleze sasa mwanamke atawezaje ku uh, kuhusika ku, ku kikamilifu? Uh, umezungumzia kuhusiana na violent extremism, uh, ukazungumzia kuhusiana na gender based violence. Lakini katika akili yangu masuala ya ardhi, katika akili yangu ninafikiria sawa haya mambo yanawakuta wamama kwa 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 kiasi kikubwa. Uh, lakini wamama wenyewe wanaweza kufanya nini? ni mambo ambayo wanayapata na changamoto kubwa ambayo tumekuwa tuki, tuki, tukiangazia lakini role yao wenyewe ama plan yao ama action plan eh, ni gani ya wao wenyewe kuhakikisha kwamba wanahusika kikamilifu kuhakikisha usalama wao na amani kwa ujumla um, asante <coughs> tukiangazia katika ya action plan kwanza inaangazia masuala hayo yote <coughs> pole na pili inaangazia mambo ya participation appreciation mm-hmm. vipi uhusishaji wa yule mama utakuwa yes. kikamilifu mm-hmm. vipi yule mama anaweza kuwa appreciated katika kaunti yake mm-hmm. na participation au semi ya kuwa dadangu uito katika mkutano ukae usikize la mm-hmm. lakini leo uito uambiwe tuambie changamoto ni zipi mm-hmm. uambiwe leo tunataka uzungumze mbele ya watu uzungumze utuambie utoe mwelekeo mm-hmm. hayo ndio tunazungumzia lakini wanaume wanawake wanajitokeza kweli hizi participation forum ziko Nam. Lakini unakuta kwamba hata ukienda katika participation forum Nam. idadi ya wanaume ndio kubwa ni kwamba wanawake wako na kazi nyingi za uh, jikoni and something ama what is it that is making women wasijitokeze kwanza kabisa sisi changamoto tulionao ni kuwa nikiwa nitali kwa mkutano na especially ikiwa ni account mambo mm-hmm. public participation ya yes. kwanza nitauliza ni tikiti mm-hmm. ila hali nikiangalia yale ninaokwenda kuchangia mimi kama halima yes. ni kuleta manufaa katika kaunti yangu ama mm-hmm. ward mimi naotoka okay. lakini participation tunaozungumzia sisi katika ka, kitabu hichi ni kuwa mm-hmm. vipi inaweza kuhusishwa kusimama kuzungumza masala ambayo yako changamoto katika kaunti yetu okay. na pili ni kuwa hatutaki kualikwa kama kina mama kama majagi ya maua dadangu <laughs> tushachoka kuwa majagi ya maua. Unamaanisha nini? Jagi ya maua ya kuwa uite mm. pale mbele ukae tu mm. usizungumze. Mm-hmm. Heyo kwa sababu umepaka lipstick yako ukae uonekane. La. Hatuko katika hiyo karne anymore. Yes. Tuko katika karne ya kuwa unazungumza, unachangia, unaleta miswada ya kuleta maendeleo. Okay. Unaleta changamoto katika ile mahali unapoishi. Mm. Na pia ni kuwa 
si ati uambie kuna mkutano basi ambie basi mama Halima hebu tu save hizo maji a a kwani hakuna kijana kufanya na mwanamume kufanya kazi <laughs> hiyo part tumetoka kitambo sana yes. tunasema appreciation mm -hmm tunaweza ku appreciate vipi wa mama wetu wa amani mm. by recognizing their efforts mm. leo hii county itoe changamoto iseme kila quarter mm -hmm. ina recognize wa mama wa amani katika seven sub counties mm. how is that hard department can pick that na ifanye mm. i appreciate yako even if it's certificate of recognition tunajua kuwa leo itakuwa inafanya kazi nzuri ya kuwatambua mama wa nyanjani mm. yule kazi aliko kule chini kabisa anajua kuwa kuna kazi anayoifanya mm -hmm. na anatambulika Leo hii itakuwa inatoa changamoto kwa mama wengine wa kufanya nini? Wa kufanya hizi kazi. Mm. So hiyo ni ya kwanza. Yes. Pili tunazungumzia kuhusu prevention. Mm -hmm. Namba prevention is better than cure. Okay. Ikiwa tunaweza kuhamasishana, mm -hmm. vipi tunaweza ku prevent maafa kutokea? Mm -hmm. Leo hii hatungekuwa na shaka hola kama tungekuwa tume prevent masala kama yale. Mm -hmm. Leo hii hatungekuwa na violent extremism wanawake wanadhulumika. Wanawake wengeingia katika itikadi kali. Mm. Leo hii hatungekuwa na gender based violence ikiwa at raise ikiwa ikiwa mama wetu mm -hmm. wanaweza kujitetea na kusimama kidete mm -hmm. hata kama ikiwa mtoto ame ame, ame la, lawitiwa yes. katika nyumba yako mm -hmm. usiseme kwa ni mtoto wa mjomba na shangazi mm -hmm. lakini usimame kidete na umtetee yule mtoto mm -hmm. usimame na justice that mm -hmm. is what we want okay tatu tunaangalia relief and psychosocial mm -hmm. tuliona tu, uh, uh, <coughs> 2020 mm -hmm. masala ya covid mm -hmm. tukapata watu wanatusaidia kwa chakula watu wanasaidia mbali kwa mbali mm -hmm. lakini isiwe tu maafa yanapotokea mm -hmm. basi leo tunapata wafadhili mm -hmm. maafa hutokea bila hata ile ikiwa ni national disaster mm -hmm. lakini sisi tunashtuka tuna pale ikiwa ikiwa na national disaster mm -hmm. ambao hiyo ni shaka kabisa mm -hmm. na pia tunaangalia psychosocial ni kuwa ule ile watu wanapata ushauri yes isiwe only on disaster management mm. lakini iwe katika hali ya kuwa hata ikiwa mama katika zile desk wametoa katika police station zile women desk katika hospital zichukuliwe kwa ukamilifu kwa wakifanya kazi pamoja na wale community health workers mm. wale wanaitwa CHVs yes kisha nyingine na ya mwisho tunazungumzia masala ya obligation and resourcing okay yule mama wa amani mm -hmm. anatumia ile shilingi mia yake ameweka ya, ya kununua mchunga mm -hmm. akapike lakini leo amepigwa simu ameambiwa kuna maafa imetokea mahali fulani yule mama ile shilingi mia badala kwa pikia watoto wake anaenda itia katika kumsaidia mama mwenzake mm. anapanda boda boda kwenda kusaidia mm. huyu mama yeye kwa wapi katika picha ya serikali both county and national haiki katika malikokote lakini tunasema tukija katika resourcing mm. kwa nini county assembly mm. isifanye mfumo ikaje na kiti ambe mm. the department can manage that mm. yezi kusaidia mama it can be a, a rapid response in 24 hours mm. unaweza ku salvage situation ya mwanamke na kumsaidia anaweza ku apply for that emergency fund kwenda kusaidia kama jambo limetokea. Okay, so so uh, uh, halima unajaribu kusema kwamba kuwe na mfuko maalum wa account. Kabisa. <laughs> How possible is that Halima? Ya kwamba kuwe na mfuko wa uh, kukifa mtu, haya wamama waende wakachukue pesa ya kuwe, uh, ku, kuweka mchango. <laughs> Hii mimi nasema si kukufa mtu. Mimi yes. naangalia ni kuwa ni maafa yametokea. Mama amepigwa na bwanake, mtoto amelawitiwa, nana anataka usaidizi. Vipi tunaweza kusaidia familia ile katika yule wakati wa emergency? Hii ni emergency Okay. that county can manage mm. and it's very much possible okay. ni ushuru tunakata ndugu yangu yeah yeah i understand lakini uh, halima pengine I, i just want to know hiyo logistics and how 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 possible and um, uh, yani jambo hili kuweza kutekelezwa because we have so many we also have emergencies fund kwa, kwa katika familia zetu mm. is it that unajaribu kusema ya kwamba county iweze kubeba kila kitu uh, mm. ambacho ambacho uh, kina changamoto ambazo zinampata huyu uh, mwanamke katika jamii oh, what are you really saying la mimi nasema ya kuwa yule mama wa amani aweze kufadhiliwa katika activities anazofanya ikiwa atatoa shilingi mia yake kusaidia mm -hmm. na hapa ako na mradi na wenzake katika zile self help group zao mm -hmm. ama women group yes. county inaweza ku support pale okay so, so unajaribu kusema county support wanawake exactly kwa manake hawa wafadhili ambao ni uh, foreign donors yes, yes. they won't be there every day mm -hmm. what's the sustainability plan mm -hmm. we have as a country as mm -hmm. a county mm -hmm. ni gani iliyoko mm -hmm. kwa manake kama tunakata ushuru why not start a fund that can support women women groups pale chini mashinani all right na zile michango ambao wanachangisha mm -hmm. zile hali ambazo wanazofanya na mipango wanaotengeleza kama women groups leo county inaweza kuwa support kwa manake mm -hmm. hao ni wa mama wa amani mm -hmm 
mm. wanaweza kusapotiwa rather than yule mama katika women groups leo wa source funding kutoka foreign donors mm. ama leo wapate group ambao wanatoa mikopo mm. waende wakafanye zile juhudi zao kwa nini fa, kwa nini county isianzishe mfuko wa kuweza kutoa hizi grants ndogo ndogo kwa mama Alright, uh, halima ingependa kupata um, uh, ma, 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 mawazo kutoka kwako je ni kwamba tumemwangazia mama sana lakini nataka kumleta uh, panel aweze kupata pia kuweza kuhusika katika mjadala huu a uh, women ready wa mama wako tayari uh, hata hata halima akisema wa mama wapewe wafanyiwe hivi are the women themselves ready tuchukue pumziko fupi panel alafu turudi <laughs> Asante sana rafiki kwa kuendelea kuzungumza nasi. Rafiki wapo huko na swali kuhusiana na majadiliano mno ambayo yanaendelea hivi sasa. Uh, wewe ni mwanamke pale na unajua kabisa awamu hii ni awamu ya wanawake na yote ambayo yanazungumziwa hapa iwapo ungependa kuweza kubwaga mchango wako, nipigie simu kupitia 0727499 uh, nitumie ujumbe fupi 0725500111 ndani ya studio nipo naye Halima Muhammad ambaye ni mkurugenzi mkuu si o ec na niko naye uh, ofisa wa mipa, mipango maafisa mradi uh, penwell nyagaka can i just call you mr nyagaka <laughs> so uh, kabla hatujatoka kwenda hewani nilikuwa nimeuliza swali uh, madam halima ameweza kutupatia uh, mambo ambayo wanawake wanafaa kuweza kuhusishwa waweze kukua supported tumefika mahali uh, akisema kwamba kuhusiana na serikali za county ya kwamba angalau kuweze kuwa na kiti ya emergencies za ambazo zinaweza kusaidia uh, wanawake hawa kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba haiwafinyili sana pia wao katika mapato ya but are women ready wanawake wako tayari kwa haya ambayo tunayozungumza ama tupambane na uchumi kwanza <laughs> Asyukran kabisa maana ile swali lako ni swali ambalo linafaa sasa hizi tuliangalia kwa undani. Yes. Kwa sababu mimi kama mmoja wapa wale wanaume ambao nime katika hii nyanja ya kufikia wanawake yes. kwa muda saizi yes. ni kwamba kulingana na mimi na kulingana na hii experience nimepata ni kwamba yes. muda ambao nimefanya ni kwamba wanawake wako tayari kwa sababu okay. kulingana na ile nguzo ya kwanza mwanzo mwaelezea ni kwamba mm-hmm. we need to, to, to make sure that the women and uh, uh, yeah women and girls are given a chance to participate mm-hmm. i'm talking about participation mm-hmm. kwa sababu without that mm-hmm. we cannot do that and remember this nguzo si ya participate alone but ni ya participate and appreciate mm-hmm. ni kweli tuwakubali kwamba wame wamehusika na pia tu tuwapongeze mm. na pia tuli tu, tu make sure kama tumetunuku mm-hmm. ndio ile mwanangu kwa kwamba wakishafanya kitu lazima uko recognize mm-hmm. ya na pia ukiangalia katika ile nguzo ya tano ambayo yes. ni obligation and resources mm-hmm. inaingia masuala ya ku make sure kwamba tuko na tuko na kiti tuko na funds na tuko na ile resources ambazo zatakana kuendelea kupatia motisha yes. hawa wanawake kwa sababu mm-hmm. mambo ni mengi katika serikali na pia uelewe kwamba kilifi lilivyo kubwa mm-hmm. na kilifi ni moja ya county zile ambazo zinapata mgao mkubwa hapa yes. Kenya yes. ni moja hapa si mm-hmm. among the highest mm-hmm. but ni moja hapa kama sisi pili labda ni ya tatu mm-hmm. sasa mjiulize katika mgao wote unapata ili resources ambayo imekuwa dedicated ama ime, imelinganishwa kwamba ni ya wanawake mm-hmm. ili waendelee kuhusika kwa sababu ili swala la amani mm-hmm. si swala la mtu mmoja mm-hmm. wala swala si la upande huu ni upande sisi sote iwe ni watoto mm-hmm. iwe ni wanawake iwe ni wanaume iwe ni serikali iwe ni, vye, ni uh, mashirika kijamii lazima tuhusiki mm-hmm. lakini sisi tunasema kwa sababu hizi changamoto nyingi zinalia wanawake ni himu pia uhusishwe zaidi is just like what we call the uh, formative action yes. si wapatile fursa ya mbele Mm. tumeshwa kwamba hata kama ni kuingia kwa serikali wapatiwe ile nafasi ili wawe katika idadi ambao hata wasizidi ama wasipungue katika ile kama ni kupiga kura kitu kama hiyo okay. hata wakiwa kule chini kwa sababu vile unapata changamoto nyingi zatoka kwao ili sele mwanamke anataka kupeleka uh, labda shida ama problem mm-hmm. anajua malipo kupeleka ana uongo kusema kwamba pale nitaenda nipate chief labda ni mwanaume nitashinda taanzaje mm-hmm. ama nitaenda kule gender desk nitapata ni mwanaume nitaanzaje mm-hmm. ama kule simtali kimpata ule daktari mm-hmm. ambao ni mwanaume hata labda ataelewa masuala yake ya, ya, ya wanawake mm-hmm. kwa sababu hile zile uh, zamani wengi walikuwa wanasema hatutaki kupeleka zishida zetu kwa sababu ukienda kule utaanza kuambia utaenda 
station utambiwa hebu tuone hiyo evidence mm. na huku mtoto amebakwa mm. sasa unaona sasa mambo gani itakuwa mambo magumu hebu tuoneshe alikufanyia vipi unashangaa sasa nao ndio wanaelewa na kukumbuka sana ni police station kama police station inaweza kufanyia mambo kama hayo okay. peji ulisi utakimbia kwa nani mm. na ukija huko iko katika jamii kuna wazee ambao kwanza watu wanasikiza wazee ni wanaume mm. sasa unashangaa sana itaenda kuripot kwa wazee na hapo kija kwa familia yako unapata kwamba aliyokutendea ni mjombako. Mm. Na huyo mjombako sasa ni mtu mjombako amekuwa akilisha familia yako. Yeah. Sasa utafanya utakimbia wapi? Mm. Eh? Sasa wengine wamesema the only way out labda walikimbia kwa pasta wangu lakini mm. pasta wangu ndio huyo mwingine atakaoona. <laughs> sasa sijua anakwambia waje. Sasa unapata kwamba sasa inabaki anajiangalia. Okay. Sasa ndio hizo sababu changa lakini sasa hizi vile tuongea kwa sababu hapo madogo madogo. Mm. Wanawake na wasichana na kina mama wako tayari yes. wakipatiwa ile fursa the only thing they need is space okay. they, they need that opportunity okay. they need that time mm -hmm. give them usio kama unawalika mahali unasema ni for public participation mm. unakuja unapatia volume of books volume of pages alafu unataka waanze kusoma na hicho kizungu chenyewe akielewi sasa mm -hmm. unaona sasa changamoto na muongezea mm. unaweza shida ya shida ya anajua kule kwangu kuna umbo nyingi anashindwa nitafanyaje maana hata hiyo nete kutoka mm. county haje iona mm. eh sasa unasikia yeye anajua kwamba kule kwangu akupitiki wakati mvua inanyesha okay. maji yanakuwa mengi mm. eh, anashangaa kwa nini kile kile wakati wa kuwa wa msimu kufika kwenda kupanda mm -hmm. siwezi panda kwa sababu mvua haijii kunyesha hajui right. atafanya nini mm. so naelewa vitu kama hizo wako tayari kuzisema wako tayari hivyo kupatia na solution ni vile kitu tunasema tuwapatie ile fursa waendelee kuparticipate tuendelee kuwa to be recognized wanafanya kazi wanafanya okay. na pia pia ikiwezekana utuendelee ku appreciate okay. sababu pia motivation pia isipokuwa mm. kila siku watakuwa pia watu binadamu uchoka lakini misa nyagaka kama wanawake wako tayari wanaume je wanaume tayari walitangulia wako tayari kweli ku support <laughs> these issues ama bado tuna, tuna tuko na why. wanaume ambao wako na ile dhana na ile inaitwa uh, male chauvinism ya kwamba ai wanawake wao hawawezi hata kwa public party hawawezi ah, mruhusu hata mke wake aende kwa public party ye ni mwanamke kazi yake haezi you know do, do are the men ready have they accepted no no uh, we cannot say the men are ready mm. because they are already there so we cannot say they are ready <laughs> so <laughs> the, only thing, are they... the, the only thing is that mm. say easy you know, some of these things we do them we are forgetting that even the man belongs to the society absolutely yes so mm. we must also bring them on board Mm -hmm. because these are two people who live together mm -hmm. the woman and the, the man, uh, the man. Mm -hmm. so you cannot say that we educate one and leave the other other outside okay. yes. so lazima watu wako involved mm -hmm. yeah so when you teach about a woman you empower that woman yes. let the man know that the woman is being empowered mm -hmm. On, on one on two on two so that akifika pale nyumbani akirudi asikuje kumuuliza maswali wewe nani alikufundisha hii no nilitoka hapo kujua kwamba sisi tuenda kufundishwa masuala ya kufanya biashara mm -hmm. sasa nimeampa pesa nianzishe biashara usiniulize nataka hizi pesa hizi za mabu mengine eh okay na hiyo kwa mfano tu nakupa yes Hal halima <laughs> as a woman kama mwanamke unafikiria kwamba wanaume wameweza kukubali um, uh, ya kwamba mwanamke apewe nafasi Eh, katika masuala kama haya ya kuweza hata kuweza kuzungumzia do you think tumefikia mahali ya kwamba men are ready to embrace this um kongo ni kwa men are not ready kwanza wao wanashikilia wana sana mila mm -hmm. tuangalie huku tuliko sisi watu wa kilifi mm -hmm. tuangalie kuwa <coughs> mwanamume ambaye ni mzaliwa wa kilifi mm -hmm. mlelewa wa kilifi mm -hmm. hayuko tayari kwa haya mabadiliko a rapid change no man is ready for any rapid change mm -hmm. kwa maana it will take time and we are getting there mm -hmm. lakini we need to take them systematically mm -hmm. for them to accept one leadership ya mama mm -hmm. for them to accept yani the little changes that we can make mm -hmm. that's why we are saying hata pale nyumbani mm -hmm. as much as wana believe ya kwa the household is being run by women mm -hmm. bado wao wanajua kwa household is being run by men because wanatoka anaenda kazini anarudi anapea na chakula pesa chakula mm -hmm. but again the person who runs the affairs of the house mm -hmm. are women mm -hmm. because ye akitoka akija wa kwanza atakemuuliza ni mama mm -hmm. chakula chake atamuulizia mama mm -hmm. nguo yake atamuulizia mama mm -hmm. anything that he needs atauliza mama kama vile mtoto yes lakini accepting the fact that i'm the one who runs the show in the house that has not sticked in their minds <laughs> nyagaka How, how, how do you say about that La, wanaume uh, kweli unasema uh, wameembrace wa how have they embraced these ideas you see um, these spaces yeah i like that idea uh, some of kweli yes it is true mm -hmm. men have not yet given 
given fully. up mm-hmm. have not given in mm-hmm. to that because people vile msema au tano walitangulia mm-hmm. lakini vile walivutangulia they are still like on their own cocoon you know kwamba this space is still remain ours mm-hmm. so for them remember even Rome was not built in a day yes yes so that's why for them to give you space mm-hmm. lazima ukuone kweli we hapo unapotaka eh. when we start involving them mm-hmm. when to kwambia why we need women in this space mm-hmm. probably we start easing up and giving them a chance leo tutukupatia wakitupatia chance ya wawili waingie mm-hmm. tomorrow i'm very sure five uh, five of those mm-hmm. next time tutakuja na tuwe paka paka 50 mm-hmm. because even you can see even our own national parliament will really live yes. even here in kilifi yes. things are not the same as like in 10 uh, yes. whatever years ago yes. people are changing soon even tutakuja paka manyumbani kwetu Mm. itafika wakati sasa hivi na wale wa mambo yetu ambao wako nao wako na ile ruhusa kwamba sasa chochote ukifanya kule shambani kwa sababu wewe ni mama na ulilima tafadhali wewe amua kitu tafanya <laughs> because we, hizo wanaona tuta, kwamba tutafikia hapo do you have enough faith ya kwamba tutafikia hapo <laughs> yes maswala ya faith <laughs> to no i mean do you believe ya kwamba uh, the, the, the awareness ambayo tunafanya tutafikia mahali kama hapo yes because for me i've said it today nimekuja yeah. kwa radio nimeongea yes. tomorrow i'll expect chief wakio kuliko baraza yes. will speak the same okay kisha kuto ule mwalimu akiwa school mm. atamwambia mtoto pia huyu mwenzako manoka akiwa mkubwa ni hivi na hivi mm. soon or later we'll have a society that is enlightened uh, mm. the power H- how many years are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I uh, yes. think for what I, what I'm seeing is if we need to change then we need to start from one place. One mm. if today Halima decides to kuchukua kiti, mm-hmm. nisiulizwe nimeolewa ni kiti cha uongozi. Yes. Kiti chochote cha kio, cha uongozini. Mm-hmm. Nisiulizwe je nimeolewa niko na watoto? Uko na bwana. Ama exactly. Mm. Kwa maana the first step they will want to discourage you wanakuambia kuwa hana hata familia ataweza ku lead nini mm. pale ndo wanaanza kukuleta mabadiliko mm. they are not looking at a, an equal opportunity mm-hmm. of all this yes. wao wanaangalia kuwa kukugandamiza wewe mm. ni kwa huyu hataweza ku lead mm. nyumbani anamwangalia nani mm. hana jamii mm. hana bwana wa kumwangalia mm. exactly <laughs> but again for a man is different mm. when you are a bachelor you want to contest on a seat it's okay it's fine mwanzo mm. unaambiwa wewe umekamilika mm. kusimama katika hichi kiti Yes. Lakini for a lady is different. Mm. Kwa nini kuna kuwa tofauti itukija katika hapa mahali? Mm. We change those percep- perceptions. Mm. Kuanzia pale ikiwa mtu anataka kusema. Halima uh, wanaume wanasema wanawake wakipewa nafasi kama hizi wanakuwa vierere. <laughs> kuna mmoja alikuwa ananipigia simu. Rafiki nipigie simu. Halima yuko hapa anasema wape uongozi <laughs> na juzi mlikuwa mnasema watakuwa vierere. 0727 na Nambari ya simu nipigie sasa hivi. Uh, Halima na Nyagaka yuko hapa ndani ya studio. Iwapo kwa na swali lolote ama mchango unaweza kuchangia. How do you say about that? Ya kwamba wakipewa hata nafasi za hata kazini, watamwambia ah huyu atatukalia, huyu akona potential, mwanamke akona potential lakini unaambiwa kwamba aye ni mwanamke. Afadhali mwanamme, afadhali nikiwa na mwanamme. Hata kama mwanamme hapo hapo you know? Hizo ni propaganda. Na hizo ni siasa ambazo ambazo zimekuwa ziki zikiwa zikisambaa mbona watu wanaongea sana kuso wanawake kupata uongozi sio mabadiliko yanakuwa mm-hmm. kwa mfano wakati suluhu mm-hmm. rais suluhu alipoingia yes. Tanzania mm-hmm. wengi hawakuamini kama atamaliza ata, ata miezi huyu mm-hmm. lakini saa hizi tuongee Tanzania imeendelea mm. iko mbele na kuna hata hata mtanzania anaongea tu mbaya kusimama mm. mm. kile yes. tunasikia siku hizi kunimpongeza mm. anafanya kazi nzuri mm-hmm. and we are hoping that wa Tanzania wa, they will give her another chance mm. ile officially nao ya yes. kuvote in mm-hmm. wacha ya kupatiwa ile ya kuvote in alipatiwa so, mali ali deserve <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Anyway, tu 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 vele Halima, do you feel ya kwamba tumeangazia sana mwanamke na mtoto wa kike uh, na society sio kwamba huyu mwanamke anakaa uh, na wanawake peke yake. The society is all inclusive. Tuchukue hii simu mm. then ujibu hilo swali. So. Hello Rafiki. Hello. Hello. Habari? Nzuri sana unazunguza na mahauzi kutoka Rabai. Okay. Unazunguza na mahauzi kutoka Rabai. Karibu. Asante. Mm-hmm. Hello? Tu, yes, tunakusikiza rafiki. Ah, sema hivi. Yes. Kwa wanawake waizo poste za uongozi. Yes. Tuseme hawaja hawaja hawajafikia asilimia kubwa kwa ya uzuri. Yaani asilimia ya ukubwa iko kwa ubaya. Mm-hmm. but they can do they can make it kwa, kwa, kwa ubaya kina, kina mna gani rafiki 
yani kwa, kwa mfano kwa mwanamke kwa msichana ambaye haja haja pata haja kwa na familia haja kuwa haja stabilize yani na mambo ya jamii mhm alafu apate uongozi wa kitu chochote yani aidha kama nitamke ama kama nita women rep mimi na nini yani kuna vile kuna vile matendo yake mengi ya, yani afeni ya kuja ya matendo yake inaangua kwa ubaya ni kidogo sana ambayo anacheza kama kwa kwa uzuri yani okay kwa kwa hiyo nasema bado hatujafikia mahali kwa kuwapatia wanawake nafasi za uongozi eh, eh as the time goes by to 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 to, 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 to level okay kwa hiyo what is needed there katika uongozi mhm mm ni ile big percent ya mambo yako mazuri ama big okay. percent ya stage zako na stage zako katika katika umma ndio yes. ni za kujenga mhm and at the most no na most most of them tumeona wakipata viti wakipata any hata kama ni office tunaona amekwa anaanza kuwa na maringo as much as hana 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 jamii yes kuna approach yeye anaona anakuwa tu ule ule ile kimaringo tumaringo wa, wa kawaida wa okay. kibinadamu okay. eh okay. na, 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 na pengine aliyeolewa pingine naye akona shida ya vile vile ama tu tu, tu no at least ukiwa okay, umeolewa yes. una, una, una bwana na na watoto ndio oh, yes. alafu pale pamekuja pamekuja mtu ambaye ana jamii yani ana familia kama wewe at least yes. utajaribu kumsikiliza kwa sababu utarifaa utarifaa hizo challenge zako za kule nyumbani mm. na huyo yani unafaa vile kitu yake kama huyo mzuri kama mtazi okay unajaribu kumsikiliza asante kama ni mtana unaona atanza kujifutavuta okay mimi ni ana rudi hata naweza tamka lolote na nasema wewe mbaba nayo unanipeleka speed na mimi niko na hivi na hivi na hivi okay. na kosa kuelewa kwamba mm. amekuja pale hata kama yuko speed lakini kwa sababu labda anakwenda kazini at the same time tena atakwenda kushuhudia watoto okay anakosa kumuelewa lakini as a parent utaelewa tu akija na pesa kama zile unaweza mhold mm. una, kuna vile ambavyo unaweza mhold huyo mtazo okay akaelewa kwamba ni asante najua halima you want to respond lakini nataka nimpatie nyagaka <laughs> <laughs> Nyagaka what do you say? Huyu ni mwanamume ambaye kama wewe tu you support women. You support women to have these spaces. Una support wanawake kuwa na hizi uh, spaces. Lakini bado uh, mwanamume kama wewe bado haja accept ya kwamba mwanamke ambaye hajaolewa cannot hatuwezi kumpatia nafasi atatupatia maringo huyu. <laughs> Simi mmesema hivyo bali ni kwamba kama vile umeweza nimetoka kuzungumza sasa hivi kwa simu. Yes. Ni kweli Uh, wanawake wako tayari mhm mm wako tayari katika uongozi na wako tayari ku, ku, kutuongoza lakini vile si vile vilivyosema mbele ni kwamba hatujawapatia nafasi na hii space ambayo atakana hatujawapatia lakini mm -hmm. pia mambo maswali na kumaringo maswali na kujifanya maswali na siju vile wanavyosema hii hii ni dhana tu ile ya potofu mimi nasema ni dhana potofu kwa sababu hizi ndo zile stories za 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 za, za maskani yep. zile <laughs> <laughs> stories zile mnakaa pale kwa magazeti mnaanza hati ni hivi lakini for real facts mm -hmm. the thing is that we have not given the space that women need okay. in leadership mm -hmm. because i presume even now as mm -hmm. we speak today yes. the formative action ya women representative yes. tangu ingie mm -hmm. na watu wameona manufaa yake mm -hmm. yeah there might be one or two challenges Mm -hmm. upungufu hapa na pale katika county zetu mm -hmm. lakini ni kwamba we have seen changes we have seen people being rich because even the office of the women revile mbona tunaiona yes. haiangatu watatu wanawake tu mm -hmm. inaangalia masuala ya vijana yes. inaangalia masuala ya walemavu mm -hmm. inaangalia sakrika zile jamii ambazo zimepungukiwa mtoki about marginalized mm -hmm. so these are some of the things we angalie especially if we give that woman okay yeah it will not be like me ni patuli nafasi ya certain office mm -hmm. and mean focus on other things mm -hmm. i forget about a woman is a person who is wide mm. so for me do not say mm. the thing is that we need women to participate okay. we need to recognize them yes <sighs> over to you halima <laughs> kwa kwa halima thank you Jim. yes um maskitika ya kuwa kama leo ndugu yangu hayuko tayari kwa uongozi kwa mwanamke kwa sababu kwanza kabisa alomza yeye ni mama na ni kiongozi pale ndani ya nyumba yao kwa sababu ni kuwa haja recognize uongozi uliokuwa pale. Na kiwa kama na bibi mwenye kufanya hesabu za chakula na nani? Twende katika simple simple mathematics. Mm. Mwenye kufanya mwenye kufanyia hesabu za chakula na za fees na skuli kunaendelea vipi ya watoto ni bibi yake. Mm. Sasa leo hii akisema ya kuwa watakuwa na maringo pale mimi nakataa. 
Hii ni propaganda ambayo kama mwenzangu amezungumza. Propaganda zungumziwa maskani, mm. propaganda zungumziwa katika mikahawa. Mm. Ya kwa huyu a ah, huyu dada tukimpa uongozi ataturingia. Mm. Na nyinyi mwaringiwa kwa sababu gani? Nyinyi hamwendi na shughuli zenu kumfata yeye ila hali ni kwenda kumtongoza labda. Mm. Mpeni nafasi atuongoze, mm. mpeni nafasi atuonyeshe yale amekuja nayo kutupatia changamoto sisi kama wababa, yeah. sisi kama jamii ya kuleta mm. maendeleo. Okay. Give them space. That's what we say. Okay, women should be given space lakini women wameangaziwa sana. Tujibu hili swali kabla tu hatujaweza kukamilisha. Je, ni kwamba tuna tuna kwamba kila kitu wanawake, kila kitu wanawake kwani wanawake how special are women haya ndio maswali nakumbana nayo halima and we really need to 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 discuss about these things ni yes ni kweli kila leo tunazungumzia huyu mama ni kuwa tumesahau kuna boy child mm. ameekwa pembeni pale mm. na kuwa empowerment yes imefanyika sana kwa wamama na wasichana mm -hmm. lakini tusisahau ya kuwa hata yule mama mm -hmm. inapokuwa tunampatia zile changamoto mm -hmm. sasa nyingine kuna kuja yule baba ama yule boy child mm -hmm. tu, tu, tuhamasishe wote at the same level okay. ili tusipate upande mmoja kukawa ni juu kwingine mm -hmm. kuko chini mm -hmm. kwa maana yake ndio pale utasikia kuwa leo kuna baba fulani ametandikwa na bibi yake mm -hmm. empowerment goes overboard mm -hmm. so tuweke at par mm -hmm. ya kuwa kuna ile kuna respect mm -hmm. that could be earned amongst the two okay. kila mtu aweze kuheshimu mwenzake mm -hmm. kuna ile mimi naweza kuwa ni housewife mm -hmm. na changia pale ndani ya nyumba mm -hmm. bila kwenda kazini mm -hmm. wewe unakwenda kazini mm -hmm. yako kuchangia kwako ni kuleta ile shilingi tuweke katika chungu yes. lakini isiwe mimi unanidhoofisha unanidalilisha kwa sababu unaleta shilingi yako pale katika ile chungu mm -hmm. lakini tu appreciate ya kuwa even a housewife mm -hmm. ana jukumu lake anachangia katika ile familia so right. tuweke wote katika sempa yani unajua tukiwa na mazungumzo kama hivi wakati unakimbia sana, sana. <laughs> uh, pengine tunapokamilisha Mr. Penwell Anyagoka ambaye ni afisa wa miradi Uh, wito wako kwa wanaume ambao wameweza kute i think you as a man unapokaa mahali kama hapa you be, you have a bigger role ya kuonyesha kwamba uh, kama jamii wewe kama mwanamume as, as an individual umeamua kuweza ku support this particular cause of action kwa hiyo wewe kama uh, man, you know i think mwanamume akizungumza na mwanamume mwenzake ni rahisi kwao kuweza kuelewa na wao kuweza ku uh, ku accept kuliko mwanamke manam, kuzungumza so what are you telling fellow <coughs> Uh, mine is simple mm -hmm. wakati mzungu mbeberu alipoonea kwamba wakati umefika Afrika kuchukua uongozi mm -hmm. ni ile aliyopatia fursa mm -hmm. wa Afrika wakajieleza mm -hmm. kwa nini wanataka kuongoza Kenya kwa nini <laughs> ndio wakapatiwa yes kama mwanaume sahizi mm -hmm. ile nyakati imefika hata sisi mm -hmm. tujinyenyekee kama wanaume kama wavulana ambao tunaongoza tuwapatie fursa wao mm -hmm. na ukapata fursa sio wapatie microphone waongee bali ukawapatie nafasi <laughs> yes yes mm -hmm. let's give them nafasi let's give them hata kama ni ile chance ya kugombania um, positions mm -hmm. si tu kwa siasa tu mm -hmm. hata pali tuko hata kama tuko katika vyama ama tuko katika makundi yetu ya kawaida katika mm -hmm. nyanja zetu mm -hmm. let's give them an option hata ile kama ni ku, ku let's encourage women to also to apply kwa hizi makazi mm -hmm. tutasema hizo kazi ni za wanaume mm -hmm. ama kazi za nini what we are calling for let's give these people space to participate mm -hmm. to be recognized mm -hmm. to to be appreciated mm -hmm. yeah also let's try to make sure that we promote whatever they are doing mm -hmm. let's make sure that we get we give them resources mm -hmm. we give them obligations because mm -hmm. whether we like it or not without these spaces we are just bringing them down because at the end of the day we don't want to make things to be in a in a more of like a equal mm -hmm. but we want to make things at equity mm -hmm. equity is like more of like letting people to participate at the same level okay ya sasa kwa sababu mimi ni mwanaume and nimesoma mpaka ma degree so huyu ni mwanamke ambaye amefanya amefanya diploma Mm -hmm. he cannot sit where i am no mm. let's give people what we call equity a chance for us to speak in the same level all right uh, halima tukamilishie uh, unasemaje mimi nasema kuwa sisi kama kina mama mm. tuwe katika ile hali ya kuwa ukiwa unamtengeneza mwenzako crown yake ama mtandio wake basi ni siwe mwenye kusema ya kuwa kwa mtu a ah, yule crown yake ama mtandao wake ulikuwa kwa umeenda kombo mm. lakini nitengeneze na face yake ionekane na sote tuwe tuwe tue proud ya kuwa halime kopale jimima iko pale na tunasonga mbele kujenga nchi yetu
Asante sana. Ah uh, uh, well, <laughs> it was very brief. Lakini asante <laughs> Elima Muhammad ambaye ni mkurugenzi mkuu uh, katika shirika la C O E C na nimekuwa naye Penwell Nyagaka ambaye pia ni afisa wa miradi katika shirika lile lile ya Santeni. I think I will call you another day. We need to have these conversations. Tuwaita wakati mwingine pia tuweze kuzungumzia kuhusiana na masala haya. Uh, na tumai ya kwamba rafiki kwa njia moja au nyingine uh, hamasa hii kuhusiana na kuwapatia nafasi wanawake. Giving them space. Unaona no, Nyagoka amezungumza sana. Let's give them space. <laughs> na uh, hamasa sasa hili la kuweza kufikiria uh, ni jinsi gani tutakuwa tunapatia wake nafasi uh, na tumaya kwamba limeweza kubadilisha mtazamo wako kwa njia moja au nyingine uh, mimi ninachomoka lakini nikirudi tutakuwa tunaendelea na kipindi uh, halima asante sana kwa kuweza kufika ndani ya studio uh, penwell asante sana kwa kuweza kufika ndani ya shule siku hii za 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 kufika ndani ya shule